I'd always start with heart, but I found that I couldn't talk about heart pathology without reteaching heart anatomy. And I'd say, but you just did anatomy four sessions ago. Well, it wasn't the anatomy that underlies pathophysiology. And then I kept going backwards. It turns out it's not enough to talk about the heart. You actually have to talk about the thorax because the organs around an organ affect it. So now you're starting with regional anatomy. And then I went, well, you have to teach surface anatomy because often that really matters in disease. So surface anatomy is how you do your coronary arteries. But then you got to do what the internal structure of the heart is, right? Because when you do heart through echo, you got to have a short axis, long axis view. But even then I couldn't stop because now I have to show you how the myocytes link to each other. There's no understanding of the heart as a single displacement pump. If you can't do an intercalated disc, well, okay, here I am now teaching histology. That's not enough because now I have to teach the sarcomere. But I got to have Z-lines. Otherwise, how am I going to teach dystrophin G? And the next thing I know, I guess I'm teaching genetics. In every Every organ, you have to completely understand structure. You've got to go from a psychosocial, cultural human, that's your symptom, that's who's in front of you, to the thorax, surface, internal architecture, tissue architecture, the individual cell, ultrastructure, proteins of the ultrastructure, and the DNA that makes them. That's the whole works, right? It is complete. No gaps.